Hi everyone, this is Mike from Comp3 Interactive and this marks the start of a new tutorial series that I'm going to try and keep going called Quick Tip Tuesdays where I'm going to try and bring you a smaller tip every Tuesday. So this week we're going to be addressing one of my personal pet peeves which is no back button functionality on mobile games. Now I know a lot of people just press the menu button to suspend and minimise the applications on the phone but personally I like to press the back button and exit the application. So as you can already tell this is just a personal preference of mine and it may or may not be useful for you. Now we're going to take a look at two different ways that we can do this. The first and most simple way is just going to close our application every time we press the back button. Simple as that. The second method, we're going to take a scene into account, and if we're not at the main menu, we press the back button, we want to go back to the main menu. If we are at the main menu, then we want to close the application. So let's get straight into it. So we'll start with the easier of the two methods first. What we'll do, we'll create a C-sharp script and call it Exit Manager and we'll open this in Visual Studio. Now we won't need our update method and quite simply all we need to do is set input dot back button leaves app equal to true. So as long as this script has been in the hierarchy at least once in our game, we'll have set back button leaves app to true. So every time the user presses the back button on the phone, the application will close. As simple as that. But what if we want to take into consideration which scene our player is in? For that, we'll get rid of our start method. And instead we'll put in update. And to do what we're about to do, we're going to need a new namespace that's using Unity Engine dot Scene Management. And again, almost as simple. All we have to do in the update is check if input dot get key down key called dot escape. Now escape is mapped to the back button on mobile devices by default. There's nothing else we need to do here. So what we're going to want to do whenever we press the back button is we're going to check if scene manager dot get active scene dot build index is equal to zero. For this example I'm going to use build index zero as my main menu scene and anything other than that is going to be an actual game scene. So now we are at the main menu. So in this instance we'd want to exit the application which is easy enough to do by calling application.quit or else if we're in any other scene other than our main menu we want to call scene.manager.loadScene0 which will then take us back to our main menu. Now obviously you could have a pop-up that gives you an indication that that's where you're about to go or that you're about to quit that you can either opt in or out of. That's entirely up to you. But as you can see how simple this little feature is, there's no excuse not to have it in any of your mobile games because it annoys people like me. <laughs> if you've learned something today, then drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. You can also find us over on social media for more bite-sized Unity and C-Sharp tips. I've been Mike for Comp3 Interactive, and I'll see you again soon.